Hi friends, my name is Anuradha and in this lecture we will be looking at ways to categorize test cases. So what do I mean by categorizing test cases and how do would we do that in PyTest? Let's see. For example, we have a complete test automation suite which is regression test case suite and we want to run only smoke tests. We don't want to run regression test case. So we create a subset of smoke test cases in PyTest out of those regression test cases which are already available or we have we want to divide our test cases on the basis of modules for the reason if there are any changes in particular module we only want to run that particular module test cases and not all and what we have seen so far that whenever test is prefixed by the keyword which is identified by pytest as test case PyTest will run all the test cases in that directory or subsequent recursive directory. So how do we go ahead and get categorization in PyTest? There are primarily these ways to get categorization. Directory scoping using minus K parameter in PyTest or using mark. So let's see these methods one by one. Let's go back to our IDE. And let's create some more test cases, some more directories, and then do categorization. I am back to my PyCharm IDE. And uh, what I'll do, I'll revert back my pytest.ini to defaults. Okay. All right. And let's take a dummy case where we want to test one product site, one e-com product site. And there we want to test, we want to divide our test cases into modules like product where we want to verify product details product and uh, then we want to have uh, test cases for search module one more let's take one more we want to have test cases for card so what i'll do i'll create dummy test cases over here i'll just take a copy of uh, test cases from here and i'll create file in each test directory Okay, so for example, I have test underscore search Python file and here I have module instead of module. I'll write test underscore search because our PyTest is reverted to fault keyword test test underscore search and let me give it as test underscore search. Let's not worry about the content of test cases. We'll not focus it on the content for now. And similarly, I can create test cases for product test underscore product and I'll place the content over here and change test underscore search to test underscore product for this case. And similarly, I'll create test case for card test underscore card. I'll replace it with card. If I run these test cases from this directory uh, by this command pytest minus v, if you want more details, we will see all the nine test cases are picked, collected nine items, right? We are picking test cases from three modules. This is ignoring this because we have a, a prefixed it with module. So it is not picking these module underscore get started. Right now we are focused on only three modules, cart, product, search. All right. And it is doing its job by picking all the test cases. Now, what if one day there is only change in search module and we do not want to validate for the time being or for the interest of time, we do not want to validate product and cart. So the first method to do that is directory scoping and which is very simple. Okay. All you have to do, you have to go into the relevant directory, CD search and execute your test case that's it so here it executes only three test cases and what are these three test cases just for verification these are the three test cases from search module only okay the other way to run these test cases is minus k parameter where i have to specify particular substring which exists in that particular test case module and here again it will run only three test cases so it is not specific to module wherever in test cases i have this search substring i will be able to run those test cases or let's take one more example so right now i'm inside this directory let me go out and let me run this again pytest minus k so it will again run nine test cases and if i give search 
it will run only three test cases it deselects six test cases okay so with k option with k parameter we can uh, give substring which exists in the test cases which we intend to run that common substring and then we will be able to run our test cases categorically so let's go to last option which is very interesting and which is very important and which is very diverse okay and that is mark now suppose i have these test cases card product search and suppose i have created regression test suite so that implies that all of my test cases are belonging to regression test suite and when the build is there i only want to validate my smoke test cases obviously i don't want to run my regression test suite every time the build is there so do i need to create separate directory and again a copy of these test cases no the interesting feature is mark so there is something in pytest which is called mark which we need to import and with the help of mark we can mark our test cases with the word which you want to mark suppose i am marking this at as smoke so this is marking the first test case as smoke i can mark any test case as anything for example i can mark this test case as mark underscore cart so whatever categorization i want to have i can divide my test cases on the base uh, test cases with the help of mark similarly if uh, i can import mark here and this marks my first test case as smoke for that matter let me go to search and let me import mark over here and let me mark my second test case as smoke so i can mark any number of test cases with any number of labels okay let's run the test cases now with the help of mark and for that we have to give minus m option along with the mark so right now i have created mark smoke and i can give minus v for verbose and let me see okay so it says one failed to pass 60 selected okay so let's go up again and let we see here it runs first test case first test case from product and the second test case from search these are the test cases we which we mark as smoke and there is more to mark and we will be covering that in our next lecture so that we can know in depth what mark can do it's very powerful so let's go to next lecture and understand more options and more uses of mark